Peter's Catholic Church in Plattsburgh was constructed in the mid 1800s. But like any old building, over time, things were becoming outdated. And a number of our fixtures become, were becoming broken and we weren't able to restore them. But Monsignor Dennis Dupree says a large annuity left to the church by longtime parishioner Mary Bushatel is helping to shed some new light onto the sacred space. What we're doing is rewiring the entire church and we're refixturing a lot of the uh, pendants, all the pendants from the ceiling and all the lighting situations. He says the new pendants and fluorescent lighting will help bring the roughly 160-year-old church into the 21st century. Our lighting was okay before, but it wasn't up to the code of today. It was up to the code when they did the lighting in the 1960s. Renovations began during Christmas time and should be completely finished right before Easter. And a lot of the work you don't see, but it's being done even now. Not only is the lighting expected to draw the eye to the hand-painted ceilings, semi-gothic architecture and stained glass windows, the fixtures will be energy efficient. They'll have the most energy efficient possibilities. We hope to reduce our lighting costs by about 40 percent. And although the roughly $400,000 project has been paid for, the Monsignor says there's a way for churchgoers to invest in the project. It's $150 to place bulbs within any one single pendant. And as you can see, there are lots of pendants in this church. But when all is said and done, he hopes parishioners are able to see the light once the fixtures are installed in a space already sacred to so many. In Plattsburgh, Listrepa, WPTZ News Channel 5.